Okay, uh, in this short video, we're just going to look at practicing revising for tense consistency. Uh, good writing is generally consistent. Uh, it's easy, it makes it easier to follow if the tense of the paragraph is consistent, if the tone is consistent. Um, so we value consistency when it comes to writing. Um, now, when you are revising for tense consistency, it's very easy to fix simple sentences. Uh, when we get to more complex sentences, longer sentences, or sentences that deal, that deal with multiple moments in time, it can be, become tricky. So we're just going to practice this here today. Uh, let's take our first example. I used to think I want to own a pig. After visiting a farm last summer, I realized that pigs were not for me. I decided to look at other options for pets. I visited a stable, and I love it. I've decided a horse is the perfect pet and felt confident this is the right decision. Um, what makes this paragraph annoying to us or subtly uh, difficult to read is the inconsistency from past tense verbs to present to past to present. Um, so the first step here is to identify, okay, what are my verbs? I used to think I want to own a pig right there. Uh, it's a little bit tricky. And then we have visiting, realize, a uh, the present tense, back to past tense here, present. Okay, so it hops around a little bit. We need to figure out what sentences are talking about previous moments in time. Um, the first sentence, the second sentence, I realized that pigs were not for me. That seems like a realization made in the past, so that's past. Um, the first four sentences here all talk about moments in the past. And then this last one, the decision is made in the present tense. Um, the speaker currently feels confident that this is the right decision. So uh, that would be the sentence that we would want to keep in the present. And the previous sentences we need to move to, uh, revise for the past tense. Um, so, you know, wait, you say. It's inconsistent because we have past tense to start and present tense at the bottom. There are exceptions to the rule. Uh, if sentences are talking about uh, moments in the past, then they need to be in the past. Then they all need to be in the past tense. And then if it's a, talking about current, present uh, moments of time, they all need to be in the present. It confuses the reader to hop around. Um, well, here's a good example. If you, if you are going to hop around, you should indicate using uh, words like yesterday. So yesterday I left my jacket in my locker, now I am freezing. Those uh, words yesterday and now make it easier on the reader to understand your shift in tenses. Um, Alright, example two. If the club limited its membership, it will have to raise its dues. This is another type of tense consistency revision. Um, if we have the limited, if the club limited its membership, um, as in hypothetically if it would limit, uh, instead of will have to, which is definite, we need to keep it in the hypothetical. It would have to raise its dues. Um, as Barbara puts in her contacts, the telephone rang. Uh, this is one of those more simple fixes here where we have puts the simple present tense and then telephone rang past tense. Confusing. And uh, number four, James Cook visited Alaska, so instead of he is killed, he was killed. Now, here's where things get a little bit tricky for us. While four is technically correct, because it is uh, both verbs are in the past tense, um, you, in a more advanced English class, they're going to tell you it needs to be in the historical present tense. Okay, in the historical present tense, lost my place here. Um, tells tells us that uh, to make historical moments more vivid to us as as readers, um, or to make fiction more vivid to us as readers, instead of discussing them in the past tense, you want to keep all your verbs present tense. So even though this moment happened you know, several hundred years ago, we'll refer to it in the present tense. After Captain James Cook visits Alaska on his third voyage, he is killed by Hawaiian Islanders. Or, you know, if we're talking about Caesar, Cassius persuades Brutus and the others to overthrow Caesar. All right. 
in the assignment you have tonight, uh, practice this. You'll see that the, the first three, I identify the verbs for you, um, so, and those are indicated to you by the italics and the underline. But um, after those first three, it's going to be your job to figure out which verb needs fixing. So I will not indicate any verbs for you. You have to identify those and then correct them. And then that last, uh, that last uh, question, the paragraph that your classmate wrote about uh, Cassius and Brutus, you uh, need to consider all the, the rules that we've just talked about here in the last uh, five minutes. So see if you can kind of apply everything that we've just talked about and practiced on this last problem here. Email me if you have any questions. Good luck.